Let's get the latest firmware on your ICOM 705 radio. The first thing you want to do is head over to icomjapan.com in a web browser and click on support and then click on firmware slash software. In the search field, type in IC-705 because that makes it easy. And then we have firmware for the IC705 that pops up on the next page. At the top, it'll tell you all of the things that have changed in the firmware, a guide on how to actually install your firmware, a link for the manual for the firmware, and then if you keep scrolling down, you're just right on the download page already. If you agree to the download service, click the checkbox and hit download. Remember where you saved it on your computer. Most modern operating systems have a tool to help you unzip files built right in. Just double click on the file and it will unzip or it will open in a new window. Now we need to get the SD card from our IC705 and plug it in to the computer. So there is my 705 SD card. Let's open that up in a new window. And inside your 705 SD card, there's going to be a folder called IC705. If we look in there, there'll be a whole bunch of files, including any previous firmware that you've installed. This is the previous firmware that I have installed. So let's go ahead and copy the new file over to that same folder. It's as easy as drag and drop. From here, we head over to the radio and all the rest of it happens on the front panel. Here's a quick pro tip for you. I put a little piece of tape on the end of my SD card to make it easy to get in and out of the 705. Hope that helps you out. Let's get over to the radio. Now that we've inserted the SD card into the radio, we can turn it on. We're currently at version 126. Make sure you've got a full battery. Go into menu, go into set, go into SD card, go into firmware update. You'd have to scroll down to page three to get to it. Read your bright yellow warning message that pops up, scroll to the bottom and say yes if you agree to all of that. Depending on the version, all the settings and memories may be lost. Make a backup on the SD card first. It's asking you if you'd like to make a backup. Say yes, just in case anything gets erased during the firmware update process. And then we want to pick the latest version of the firmware. Firmware updating takes approximately two minutes. Do you want to start updating? And you have to hold this button down for a few seconds in order for it to actually work. The radio will automatically restart and now we're at version 130. It's as easy as that.